Hey youth, I'm Austin, and welcome to week two of Toxic. We're glad you're here. Let's get started. The word toxic refers to any poison that causes sickness and death. Kind of like the chili that Jake's mother makes. Today we are talking about toxic words. Nothing can ruin your relationships more than toxic words. And if we want to beat them, then we need to know a little bit more about them. Words are powerful. Have you ever heard that dumb saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? That's just not true. Words hurt, and I bet you can remember something someone said to you a long time ago that hurt you. But I bet you also remember some helpful things people have said to you. Like, I remember a couple years ago, I was struggling with my grades, and a good friend of mine called me up, and instead of putting me down and saying negative things to me, he lifted me up, turned my attitude around, and then I passed all my classes. Words are powerful, and this is what the Bible has to say. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. Good words can make you feel great. Toxic words can tear you down. But there are still some things we need to understand about words. We don't have the power to control our words. You probably don't have to try very hard to say something rude or negative. It just happens. The Bible says that's because our words are our hardest things to control. And it also says that our tongue is like a little match that can start a huge forest fire and that negative words can start a fire with your family and friends. So if we can't control our words, is there any hope? There is. Only God can help us with our words. The Bible says that if you're a Christian, God is changing you from the inside out. He wants to change everything, even your words. So as you grow closer to Him, you'll be more likely to use your words to help people rather than to hurt them. This means if you're a Christian, you should be more focused on how you use your words. Use your words to help people every chance you get. It's so easy to use negative words that we have to choose to use our words to help people. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Use your words to encourage your friends, help your family, and tell others about Jesus. I know that I have one friend that I can call who encourages me and helps me keep my focus on Jesus. Remember, use your words to pour happiness and love into people's lives. And if you do that and stay away from toxic words, then your relationships will thrive.